everybody. Welcome to the stream. Hope everyone's doing good today. Happy Monday, everybody. Bit of a different kind of stream, which, I mean, we've streamed this game quite a bit. I think it's like my seventh stream of Rise of the Ronin. But, uh... Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I'm like... I'm still, like, suffering from, like, allergies and shit. But, yeah. We're playing some more Rise of Ronin. There's still some objectives that I need to finish. I think it's mostly just, like, one or two. And then, um... I guess we'll see what happens after that. But, um, I think it might just be realistically just one, I think. But I'm going to try to do that one. Maybe do a couple midnight missions and all that stuff, too. Uh, it's just mostly just a nice, chill stream today. And, uh, we'll see where it goes from there. But yeah, so far, uh, been very, very fun. Even after the post game, been really enjoying it. I've uh, been do doing some of the Midnight stuff, been doing some online missions and everything with Midnight to try to get some better gear before I tackle, like, the open world of Midnight. Try to get some better stats and everything, too, going first. Uh, so far, so good. I've been really enjoying the game. Uh, the, the game as a whole was just really great. So, definitely, uh, who knows, maybe sometime, like, in the in the future. Not saying, like, near future, like, in the future future. Maybe I'll come back and play this game for, like, a full-fledged playthrough on the channel. We'll see. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, but this is definitely a game I would love to revisit sometime in the future. Because I don't know how many more streams I have left for me to play this game. Um, It's not realistically like New Game Plus. I don't know if there actually is like a New Game Plus where you start from the very beginning. I didn't see anything like that. As far as I know, I probably just didn't look at the damn tutorial when it told me. But, um... When I, uh, you can go back and do, like, missions and everything, and it can, like, affect, like, your, your current timeline that you're in and everything. But I honestly don't know if there's, like, actually, like, a full-fledged New Game Plus. Because if there is, I just missed it. Uh, but if there is, cool. If not, then, you, again, you could just go back and, like, go visit places that you missed. Um, and replay missions if you want to, like, go through a different path or something like that by picking a different side. And all that other stuff, but yeah, let's get the hellos and we'll talk a little bit. We'll talk a little bit more and then uh, play some more. Also, finally got the the PNG Harna actually looking proper now. See, uh, obviously, when she doesn't talk, she got the blinking, and then uh, we have it to where she's flapping her gums and blinking now properly. So, finally got that working, and that was a bit of a pain in the ass trying to get the the the, the mouth to move properly and everything for. Uh, the clip studio animation but it looks good i love it but yeah let's give the hellos and we'll officially be on the way uh nikki kuru haru talo uh kristen super mystic boy ayane sensei tori lucas kenny akira yuki sanada anna little dog shizume our lily hope everyone's doing good today and it as well hope everyone's been having a pretty good monday uh, kind of sad you start now because I got work in an hour. That's all right. Uh, knowing my allergies, I'll probably only be able to go for like an hour and a half. So you'd probably only miss a little bit of it. But yeah, I think there's like one mission I still need to do. Um, I know this one was the one where I'm guessing it just, yeah, it just gives you different cutscenes. So I'll probably maybe do that one sometime off camera. But so it's not really that big of a deal. But I think the only one that I really need to do, I think I did everything on this chapter. Yeah, because I think, yeah, I did this one. I changed it over to the anti shokunet faction for this one, just so I can also get some um, some of these missions done as well. Because I needed to go all the way back to, I think it was... I actually can't remember which one. I think it was, yeah, I think it was the Rift and the Roshigumi. And I accidentally had to redo it three fucking times. Because uh, at the time, I was just like, I guess I don't... Since I did the mission now, maybe it'll just unlock the, the anti shokunet version for this mission too. Which I didn't do, because I did Pro Shogunate for the last three missions, I think. So, I ended up uh, doing the Ikeda In incident with uh, the Pro Shogunate. And then I ended up doing the Forbidden Gate Rebellion with the Pro Shogunate as well. But what I didn't realize is that um, since I ended up coming back to this and not actually picking this one to change the timeline for me, uh, I had to redo it twice, two more times, because for some reason I didn't, like let that shit sink in the first time like oh okay i did i had to actually like make this influence the timeline so i can't be pro shogunate i have to do this one so i can actually do the anti shogunate version for this one because i didn't do this one yet either so i did redo that mission like three times thankfully it was a very short mission but it was just annoying doing it over and over again so i ended up i have both of these done i think the last one i actually realistically need it's not the failed edge because again it's just like just getting a different ending for it uh i think 
Also, I didn't even realize this was a thing that could happen. Apparently, Viroma could actually die. I don't know what made him live, to be honest. I don't know what I... I just played through this, the mission like normal, I assumed. But uh, apparently, Viroma can die. And I had no fucking clue about it. Yeah, flu season, pollen, allergies, and all that shit. I thought since I got rid of my window unit, because I ended up getting a hornet through it uh, last week, and it drove me up the wall. I have, uh, I forget what the name of the phobia is, but I have a really bad phobia when it comes to, like, big insects, especially ones that can harm you. It sucks. I am a big pussy when it comes to that. And I can't help it, unfortunately. Um, so, I kind of, like, was like, alright, no, no, fuck that. I'm done. I'm done with the window unit. There was always a risk with the window unit. To be fair, I went through a whole summer with nothing getting in my room. Since last year, though, I ended up having that, and at the, the reason behind it was that it just was, um... It wasn't properly patched up, or the, the windows weren't properly closed together. Um, so, I ended up, uh, we ended up fixing it the last time. We, like, taped it up to hell. But, unfortunately, they were still finding a way to get into the unit itself, even with when I had, like, a net and everything, too. So, obviously, we just crawl through the unit, crawling through the, in, through the unit onto my window. I'm like, ah, yeah, that sucks. Uh, so we got rid of that completely. I'm going to actually get a, a new screen to replace the one that got ripped out for the window unit. Just so I can have that extra bit of security. Because I have been... Ever since I had that hornet in my room, I every time... Because I always like to move the curtains out of the way so I can get some nice uh, sunlight in my room for these streams. Just like today, I did that. What's up, Tori? Well, in profile, welcome up. You're doing good. I'll read your all stuff in a minute. So I want to just get that screen just for extra bit of security for it. Which it, I know it's not really necessary because it's completely sealed up now. Um, obviously there wouldn't be anything that can get in, but I still have that, like, nerve, like, especially when I'm home alone, I try to move the curtain out of the way as slow as possible because I'm, like, terrified, like, open it and actually see another, like, fucking hornet or wasp or something. I have the same thing, but, uh, like, again, like, hornets, bees, all that stuff. Uh, I actually, the funny thing was, the first time I got rid of my window unit was when we realized too late that it was like, oh, it just wasn't properly sealed up. Because a hornet was actually crawling. You, I saw the terrifying scene of a hornet crawling in between my windows. Because, again, they weren't properly sealed together. They weren't pressed together the first time around. Because um, I also had, like, palmettos or roaches, whatever you want to call them, come through my window as well at night. And I was like, oh, that is fucking not happening. Uh, I didn't know what it was what was happening with it. And then eventually I saw a hornet in the middle of the day crawl through it as well. I'm like, nope, nope, we're done. We're done. Take it out. Then that's when we realized it wasn't properly sealed. We taped it up and everything. But, of course, they could still get through the window unit. So it was like, oh, well, all right. So just last week, I just got rid of it completely. The windows properly sealed up, which is fine. We ended up getting a new um, AC unit outside. So my room's been perfectly fine ever since. I don't really need one for the summer anymore. But, yeah, it, it sucked. I have a huge phobia of it. I actually, like, again, pussy mode activate. I had, I, like, literally tremble with that shit. I can't handle it for some reason. And, uh, yeah, they kind of confirmed that it was a phobia. And I was like, oh, fuck, great. All right. Nothing was better than when my niece told me to man up. And I'm like, bitch, <laughs> I can't help it. It's a, it's an actual phobia. And mine's, like, mine's to a huge extreme because my anxiety flares like there's no tomorrow. And it sucks. Let me start the mission while I'm talking about this nonsense. Sorry, I just rambled for, like, ten minutes. Uh, so, yeah, we need to do this one. I don't know if I need to do anything previously to make this happen. But I'm going to just click on this one and see what happens. Yeah, WrestleMania uh, was fantastic. Night two was perf was like damn like pretty much perfect to me. I feel slightly bad for uh, for Drew losing his championship in three minutes. It kind of was like you reap what you sow kind of thing. So it was kind of cool in that respect. But I was still kind of like, oh, he he lost it. But I was super happy for Damien because everyone's been tearing him apart as Mister Money in the Bank, not thinking, oh, he could probably just cash it at WrestleMania. So. Because everyone was just calling him the dumbest motherfucker of a, of a briefcase holder. Myself included. So I was like, bro, what are you doing? Like, Because he didn't really show... The reason behind it is because he didn't really show any like desire to do it. Like, whenever Seth was in a bad position, he never fucking went out there to do it. So I was like, alright. Okay, so I can just do it from here. Let's go to the Satsuma clan, Kyoto head. No. Fuck. I meant to do the other one. Fuck. Alright, we gotta go back. <laughs> I meant to click the Shogunate one. Wait, can I still change it? Can I still go to the other one? Oh, maybe I still can, because that's still available. Is the... Okay, I can just leave. Oh, I can't leave. Fuck! 
I forgot when you go back into timeline stuff, it kind of makes it to where you have to stay there. Can I fast travel? Okay, I'm going to have to just backtrack, even though it tells me. All right, whatever. Yeah, Jimmy and Jay, for two twin brothers, um, for two twin brothers, they had absolutely no chemistry whatsoever. And Jason Jordan also directed the, the thing. Because Jason Jordan usually directed uh, very amazing matches. This one just wasn't good. I have a fear of uh, stinging insects because I have uh, had bugs attack me for no reason. So I think that they people mentioned to me this is what triggered it. I used to live at another house, and there was one of these things. There was a bee's nest inside the ground. Obviously, that's not, like, super unheard of. But there was a bee's nest inside the ground. And my brother at the time, he was, like, he was kind of a teen. He was a teenager at the time. He And I was still a little kid. He ended up um, going near that area, and then he ended up getting, like, stung by so many different fucking bees. And he even brought some in the house with him. And, uh, obviously, tiny little me was terrified. It, it, it was like, I'm not even joking, it was like in his shirt, in his pants. Uh, they were, they were everywhere. Thankfully, my mother came home at the, at that exact right time and, like, helped get rid of them. But he was stung to hell. And, um, and I was just, like, like, cowering in the corner. And then eventually they were like, you can go to your room. You can go to your room. I was like, all right, fuck you. All right, don't, don't tell me twice. Little kid me, like, ran to my room, like, I don't know if anyone else does this when they've seen, like, an insect, like, a big insect in the room out of fear. You know how you have that little gap in uh, underneath the door for, like, air circulation, I'm guessing? I put, like, a, I think I put, like, a towel or, like, a, like a jacket underneath it. I had to put, like, multiple, I think, because, obviously, I'm a tiny boy at the time. I think it was, like, I think it was, like, five or six, maybe? I'm not sure. But, um, I ended up just pushing that shit underneath the, uh, and I love that house, too. It was a great house. Uh, it was, it was, like, a proper size for someone like me, because I don't like big houses. Um, I pushed it underneath the door, uh, so they couldn't get through there, and, um, it was, uh, it was, it was a really scary experience as a kid, and they're saying, that's probably one of the biggest things that triggered it for you. I was like, oh, great. Seeing my brother get completely, utterly attacked by fucking, like, I don't know if they were just, like, regular bees or yellow jackets. I think they were just bees. But still. That's what got me, and it, honestly, it's been, it's been rough ever since, since, since I've, uh, had that since that happened mentally for me physically for him mentally for me and a little mentally for him too which is why i want to ask again please fight alongside us with the shits and gumi i'm here that's what i'm here for man i'm ready my deepest thanks with you what's up devere welcome up we're doing good no one can stand up to our might his highness bids us attack with this might I'd argue that Jay and the Rome, the Jay and Roman match was ass as well. I did I thought that match was terrible. And a lot of the booking decisions on it too just made no sense. I thought it was and the the ending was was made no sense with Jimmy. Uh the match was subpar at best. And they're both great wrestlers. They're both great wrestlers in their own right. And I'm not even saying they don't have good chemistry because they had matches during the pandemic era which were fantastic. But the SummerSlam match was just not good. Yeah, just because brothers are close doesn't mean uh, they'll have good cam. That's very true. Very, very true. Alright, the Battle of Toba Fushimi. Yeah, it was just a super kick fest. That's that's what... I, and I, 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 I actually should have went through with it. I told my friend that I was sitting right next to. I was like... I had, for, I had company over for WrestleMania. And um, I was like... So, uh, should we put, like, a super kick counter? Also, I don't know if I said it, but hello, Nabir. Welcome. Hope you're doing good. But, uh, yeah, I said, like, uh, should, should we do, like, a super kick counter? We don't have how many How many we're going to get? Because, let's be real, it was going to happen. There was going to be a crap ton of them. And sure enough, there was. It just felt like there wasn't much, like, octane offense. Like, there was some good offense from Jay's perspective with Jimmy. And I'm not just, it's not to shit on Jimmy. Oh, shit. It's not the shit on Jimmy. It was just like... It just didn't feel like he had like a lot of good offense going at all. Aside from like super kicks. Like, because I've seen both their movesets and their movesets are good. They have some pretty good diverse moveset. But... That's why don't ever, don't ever like expect it to be... Just because they're... Brother and brother, don't ever expect it to be good. Because I really didn't expect it. I had it, I saw it from the get-go. I was like, this match could be good if it's done correctly. 
So I'm not even gonna like blame the Booker who was uh, well, uh, not not the Booker, the the one who directed the match, Jason, because obviously Jason was an amazing like obviously wrestler in his own right. Part of fucking uh oh god, what were they called? I know it's not Alpha Academy. Who the fuck? What the fuck was their name? It was something Alpha. American Al American Alpha, I think it was, right? I don't know, people, there's a lot of people nowadays, maybe maybe it's people's perspective on it changed, but a lot of people actually shit on the, Je the Jeff and Matt match. Yeah, American Alpha, okay. A lot of people actually nowadays shit on the match between Jeff and Matt. Maybe because the wrong person won in their eyes, I guess. Which, I mean, I don't, I, I didn't really care about the outcome of the match. I just wanted to see if it would just be an actual, like, good, entertaining match, and it, it, it wasn't. I meant in terms of Jimmy and Jay, my bad. But yeah, I saw a lot of people start, like, shitting on that match with... Is this this dude's hair? What am I looking at? Is this part of the helmet, or... Oh, alright, too early. I almost just, like, slid right back into that. Yeah, super kick and Samoan drop fest, yeah. Yeah, that was easily the most lackluster match on the card. The six-man tag match, which no, no disrespect to any of them, but I didn't really expect much of that match. The six-man tag uh, limit, or extreme rules match was insanely more enjoyable than the Jimmy and Jay match. And I'm not doing that to hate on the Usos, because the Usos, I think, are both very entertaining in their own rights, but I am in no rush to ever see them in a singles match together again. <laughs> Ooh, the assassination. I didn't even notice that guy behind the wall there. That was dope. Yeah, dude had an afro of some kind. It looked pretty cool. Uh, are you an enemy? Whoops. Ah, oh, shit, he had a helmet on. Ah, oh, shit. All right, my aim sucks. I'm going in. Yeah, it was a fun match. Like, the only thing that, like, ever, like, threw me off guard was the uh, Rey Andrade versus Santos. Santos Escobar. And um, Dominic match was the ending. Not, the, not out of hate for it. I was like, who are these big fuckers that just, like, beat the shit out of Dom? It turned out to just be some football players in Rey Mysterio masks. I was like, oh, all right. Not in any hate, hate or disrespectful way. I was like, oh, all right. I just didn't see it coming. Was this, is there no boss fight in this area? Weird. Okay. So when I did the... Um, yeah, because there's five formidable foes, which means there's going to be five bosses I have to fight here. Weird. I guess they're all up over there. Oh, you know what? Actually, I think I don't technically... I didn't technically have a boss fight in this area when I did uh, the anti-Shogunate forces. Oh, I think they're over here. Also, uh, seeing Roman smile when he got pinned was actually kind of wholesome. There was probably two possibilities. He's just happy for Cody, or the other one was, Scott, thank God I don't have to hold this fucking title anymore. <laughs> it's like, this shit's finally over. Sense of release. Props to Roman, though, for... I'm not even gonna lie, like, were there, like, slow moments sometimes during that? Yes, but can't deny the fact that he held it for so long as he did, and had some very memorable shit to it as well. Bitch ass over here. Oh, I missed. I just realized, actually, there's no, um, no boss here. I'm supposed to fight five of these guys? I know one of them's pro I know one of them's probably going to be, uh, by the cannons up there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no problem, Shinpachi. Yeah, that was very funny and ironic that Roman was saying that to Cody. Like, I'm going to send you to Hollywood. Yeah, night two is so good. I almost, uh, I was so raspy when the, when the night was over. Because I was like, I was in call with my friend and my brother during it. The funny part was, is that we were trying our best not, to, my friend and I were trying our best not to actually like, because, um, you can't like screen share Peacock. Because, um, it, it just, it, it, it just black screens. I've tried it a couple times and it just, it just black screens. 
Unless there was something I missed about it, but um So we just watched it on our own respective uh screens. So I was a little I was the one who was further ahead than the other two. Like I was only ahead by my friend by like a couple seconds, so I just like paused it so that way we can at least catch up together. And then my brother was like 10 seconds behind us, and he's like, wait, don't say anything! Whenever we got near the end of the matches, we were like, I'm, we're sorry, we're trying our best! But the excitement was like, sometimes it's too tough to do. Oh, so this time it's the, uh... So, they seized the guns already, and I gotta seize it back. Okay. The objectives, most for the most part, are pretty much the same. I'm gonna send you to Hollywood like the rest of them. This is my house, bitch! No, Roman's try. I will say, even before uh, everyone started coming into that match, their match between just Roman and Cody alone, like the the whole things with between those two alone was fantastic. Their match alone was already great. For something that was considered blood bloodline rules, though, I really expected a lot more of the bloodline there. But in hindsight, I'm actually not upset that they didn't do that because Roman and Cody got to have an amazing singles match before like. Jimmy came out. The shit with him, the, the shit with uh, Jay spearing him off the stage, that was fantastic. Um, and I don't think they ever showed back up after that. And then Solo came out. He relived the 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 Samoan spike to Cody, and then they even did the Samoan spike spear combo, and it still didn't work for him, which was awesome. Because I really thought that was actually going to be it for a second. I was like, no, because there's no rock. There's no fucking way. Oh, I hate fighting Okubo. Mostly just because I like him a lot. Oh shit, I have no stamina. Oh. Ah. My key. Ah oh, shit. Oh, okay, I thought he was going to do something there. You can definitely see how much I've leveled up, Jesus. Also, the biggest left field one was the Undertaker, but I was not that was not in a complaining way. Oh no, Kuroda is the one I hate fighting the most. He is so all over the place, and he just never breathes. He just keeps a fight. He just keeps attacking no matter what. Oh my god, my freaking shit's way off. By the way, that's why I'm glad I'm having like three people team up on him right now with me. Hold on, let me finish up Kuroda, and then I'll go back to read the chat. Ugh, ugh. Broda is such a pain in the ass. Love his look, but I hate fighting him. His moveset's too good. Yeah, nice try, bitch. Nah. Okay. Whew. I took to be a lot more things involved, but I like that Roman made it more like, no, I'm going to do this clean to the prove a point uh, when he put the table back and stuff. Yeah, no, I love it. Yeah, that, that I really like. I'm okay with it. I think the most, most of the thing, most of the. Oh, he's an enemy! <laughs> I don't know why I thought he wasn't. <laughs> Bro looked French to me, so I thought he was one of Jules's guys. But um. Oh yeah, just get someone's curious. Since I have been getting some stuff for the. Uh, for the midnight, I do have a very strong Odachi. I think this is Gonzo's Odachi, if I'm not mistaken. Obviously, it's his bandit chief. Um, and then I have a very strong... And then I have a master class rifle. And I got some master class, like, uh, outfits. Or, like, pieces of clothing so far. And I know that the, the cat missions can also give you some uh, midnight stuff. As long as you stay in the midnight difficulty, I think. So, maybe when I go back, they'll potentially maybe give me some midnight... Uh, some master class stuff. I'm not sure. But, yeah. yeah but here, here's the Odachi. It actually looks pretty good on this outfit, too. It's a good fit. Yo, Dachi's pretty fun to use. Um, funny enough, uh, Roman was once on an interview saying that he wanted to pursue acting outside of WWE. Yeah, and uh, I'm pretty sure he's still going to do it. I loved when he went to his um, his interview or the media press conference after night one of him winning. Uh, there was some lady who ended up calling him my tribal chief, and he was like, that's right. And he says, actually, everyone else acknowledged me, too. And then I think I think mostly everybody did, except for, like, one woman who ended up booing him, which was kind of like, for an interviewer, that's kind of fucked. <laughs> I mean, you can have your own opinions, but damn. And then Roman was like, get her out of here. Get her, like, legit, he was like, get her out of here. If you don't get her out of here, I'm leaving this conference. And then I think they actually had to kick her out. <laughs> 
I'm fine with. I mean, Roman's done plenty already. He, he's he's become a great. He was like he's a Grand Slam champion. He had one of the most memorable like world title reigns of all time. What he was what he managed to do within like three like four years is pretty awesome. When he became the the whole head of the table stuff. I'm cool with it. Not to mention, I did like a lot of the stuff that he did when he was a babyface. I didn't like the booking decisions of him as a babyface, but like. He had some pretty memorable, memorable uh, matches and reigns and everything. Or not reigns. Um, matches and uh, some storylines here and there when he was a baby face. But I could definitely tell that he was feeling the decline himself. I think around 2019 he mentioned. <laughs> I love how most of it was most of that documentary from what I've heard is a, a lot of it just shitting on uh, how he was when he was a baby face. Because the booking was just so bad for him. <laughs> Oh, did they mention he was going to drop the title to Brock? Thank God he didn't. That's such a bad decision. Brock should not hold a fucking... If by some chance he ever does come back, there is no reason Brock should ever hold a world title again. Someone like him. I, like, I can even argue that with Roman. Like, he doesn't need to hold a world title anymore. He is a, he is a, he is a big attraction without a title anymore. He is, I really think he's reached that status where he doesn't need one. Would it be cool if he maybe like goes for like a championship one day? Sure, but I really don't feel like he needs it anymore. Just so long as it's not a four-year run. Because, like, nowadays... Ow. That's not good. Oh, mercy. Oh, my God. There's so many cannons. I got to get up there. Burning my stamina just getting up here. Oh, you good, buddy? Where are you going? Oh, I guess they wanted to fight Jules instead. All right. Got to watch out for that cannon. Okay. Uh, well, I guess while he's dealing with him, I'm gonna go fight that cannon. I could shoot them realistically, but I don't feel like I'm gonna be able to get them. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, of course, they also have some of them have helmets. I don't think that guy does though. Sure doesn't. Let him be free. Yeah, night night two almost made me uh, with, the, with the main event almost made me emotional. I almost lost my voice when I saw Cena come out. Like, I kind of, like, in a way, I kind of expected it because they did kind of tease it at least a bit. I had a feeling at least one of them wouldn't show up to WrestleMania, and I, well, I'm not very shocked that it was the that it was Stone Cold. It really got me off guard. I think I screwed actually the loudest when uh, Taker came out. I was like, what? Someone also showed a clip of him actually, like, jogging back backstage. <laughs> Wait, is that guy an enemy? Jules, you never finished him off? Come on, Jules. Fuck, he's dodging. What the fuck? Oh, get that guy. I'm gonna deal with this guy. Get him, Kondo. Nah. Get out of here. Good man, Kondo. Where's Jules? Jules? Jules, you had one job to get rid of that helmet guy, and you failed me. Also, I love that you could just, like, disrespectfully, like, shove them out of the way. Which is also kind of nice, because sometimes they can just get in the way. <laughs> oh! Cavalry? In my Rise of Ronin? Come here! Oh, shit. Come here! Nah. Nice try, though. Oh, yeah, no. he Vince, Vince is booking specifically near, near in the end of his life cycle. Like, he had, he had a lot of questionable decisions in, like, the 2010s. But, like, nearing the end of it, it was starting to get really, really bad. Taker can't take, can't just take his final rest, can he? I mean, it was kind of, it was regular Taker. It wasn't, like, Dead Man Taker. It was more like Mark Calloway just coming out to take her stuff. But it was, it was mostly just Mark Calloway. Or American Badass coming out to, American Badass Taker coming out to Dead Man stuff. All right, let's see who my... Uh, I still have to fight... Did I miss anybody? It says there's only... There's still three people left I need to fight. It's more likely than you think, fair. <laughs> I feel like this is... Yeah, this is the final area. Unless there's two of them in here. Maybe I missed somebody out in the battlefield. No, there's only one person there. No, there's two of them. Will Genzui count as the other formidable foe? I don't think he does. 
Or no, Gensui's dead at this point. Who is running it? Is it Katsuda? Huh. Unless there's three of them there. Hang on. You fuckers. That's just a regular dude. That's one down. Oh shit, they noticed. Got him. All right, I mean, I'll fight these two and see what happens. I'd like... All right, so we got... Oh, Shinsaku, come on, bro. Oh, I got it. I forgot he could do that. I forgot... I think this is technically my second time ever fighting him in a boss fight. If I remember correctly. Damn! Damn! As far as I remember, at least. Oh, my God. My pairing's so bad. Ooh! He's so good. Goldberg does not need to be in a ring anymore. He he's done. Was this shit with Brock cool? Yes, but I think that's where it should have ended. Personally. Yeah, Gold yeah, he loves to push up and coming talent like Goldberg, it's true. Oh shit, I fucked up. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Oh. Come on, Shinsaku, I saved you, remember? I saved you from tuberculosis. Somehow. Apparently there was a cure in this game for that. Two cures for that in this game. Wait, was it just Shinsaku? You want to finish oh, it? no. And then the last two. I'm going to run back just to be sure. I think this should be a two-man boss fight with um, Saigo and uh, Katsura. Just like how it was with uh, Kondo and Jules for the anti-Shogun forces. Okay. Let me run back real quick and just make sure. I could have sworn when I did this, uh, Okita, when I did the anti shogunate version, Okita was the uh, the last one. They had, like, four bosses out here. And then they had one boss uh, waiting, which was Okita at the time. So maybe I missed the other guys? I'm just going to go run back and double check. Oh, I can call my horse. All right, good. I can get around the battlefield a lot quicker like this. So, like, in the center area, there were bosses. I'm not sure. I just got to look around and see real quick. Oh, there's some fighting over here. Are any of you uh, bosses? Yeah, there it is. Oh, my God. Fucking Hitobumi Ito and uh, Aratomo. I think I remember him being the more annoying one because he's got the spear with the with the range. So I'm going to deal with him first. But, yeah, no, for night two, I have honestly no complaints. I felt like when I watched night one, I, like when I looked over at my friend, we were kind of just like, yeah, it was, it was good. It's all right. Then night two, just like we were just, Damn. I did not need to do my guy like that. Oh, shit. I think I shot them both. Okay, I didn't aggro them both, at least. Oh, what the fuck? Where did this guy come from? Yo, Jules Kondo, where are you? Oh! I'll deal with big boy over here. Oh, there's Jules. Oh, wait. I forgot. I can also do this. I can play. Th I just picked Jules at the very wrong time. Nah. Oh! Yeah, it's really cool that you can play with other characters, too, in this game. Like, I get it that, uh, as Matt Hardy would refer to him, the man of three H's is going to make mistakes, but it, it seems like he's more confident in booking. Oh, I absolutely agree. I don't expect... Like, let's be real. There have been some questionable decisions. And personally, mainly in, like, the women's division for me, where it just feels like it... And the tag team division a bit, too. It feels like the tag division's slowly getting there now. And I'm sure the uh, them splitting the titles finally. Kind of questionable on who ended up winning it. Because not at least with, with Awesome Truth, it felt like it was going to happen. But when it came down to like... When it came down to Fury and Waller, I think it's my only decision. I'm like, why? I feel like there was... I feel like they just put it on them just because like they needed one... They wanted one heel team to win. And then one babyface team to win. Firstly, I would have just put it on the... Uh, oh, my God. He's destroying me, this guy. Oh, yikers. Jesus Christ. I cannot counter this guy with Jules. Jules' like, pairing feels very weird. It's too snappy. <laughs> Weirdly enough, it's too snappy. I wanted to just check out his moves. because Again, I forgot that you could do this. Where's Yamagato? Or Yamagata? Is he stuck behind a building or something? I got that. Oh, there he is. I guess he just wasn't aggroed. Yeah, this is really cool that you could change characters like this. Yeah, I'm glad. At the end of the day, I was like, I was kind of like, I would have. There could have been probably like another team that could have won, but to be fair, I guess they wanted to just go with like the hotter team, and it was Archer's like WrestleMania moment finally. So like, I respect it. But I was like, I wouldn't have minded someone else, some other team winning. 
And I'm also glad that Damien finally got his moment too for WrestleMania. Or, well, his, his like, own shiny moment as a world champion, I mean. Again, still sucks that it was at the expense of uh, Drew, but... Again, it was kind of... A, it was a reap what you soak type of thing, because he just had to keep rubbing it in CM Punk's face, and then Punk was just like, I right, fuck this. And then, um, obviously, he paid for it at the end of the day, where Punk basically cost him the world championship. Because my friend and I were already expecting, like, oh, there's going to be shenanigans with uh, Punk ended up uh, screwing Drew in some capacity. I didn't know what capacity it was going to be, but uh, I'm glad he at least got his moment in front of the crowd before, which Grant was like three minutes, but he got his moment in front of the crowd before uh, he did end up losing his championship. Oh, everybody gets on their horse. That's cool. I didn't know that. I want to try out his other martial skills. I just haven't got the chance to do it yet. But we're going to be fighting uh, Katsuda and Saigo, if I'm not mistaken, so plenty of time. So how long he keeps the belt? I feel like it's not going to be a long reign. I don't feel like it's going to be a long reign. At all. I think it was mostly just like at this point. Because to be fair, Damien was in a very weird spot. And I'm not even going to say the same. I'm kind of saying the same for Theory. But like, Theory's was just... just didn't. It just felt like Theory was more rushed. And Damien was at least been around for quite a while. And at least he successfully cashed in his, his briefcase. But um... Yeah, it just... It, the whole thing with Damien, I don't feel like it's going to last too long. I feel like it's... He's just in a weird spot where there's, like, so many other, like... I don't even want to say better people, because I'm not, like, discrediting Damien. Damien is, like, so good, in my opinion. I feel like he's pretty, like, underappreciated type of, like, talent. To me, at least. I could be completely, like, just the only person who thinks that. But I think he's really, really good at what he does. Actually, let me change back to Harna, because I think I gave her the wrong stance. Oh, no, she's got the right stance. I got grabbed? Hello? Kondo, that was your thing to get hit with. Alright, let me at least do this to Kondo. Or Psycho, excuse me. Psycho is fucking huge. Oh shit! He's fighting Katsuda now. Does he have any other stances? No, but he's got this. Oh, nice veiled art, asshole. One little baby slash! I will say, though, this is easily one of my, like, favorite fights in the game. Nah. Hell yeah, dude. Flame on flame. Flame on. Oh, yeah. I might be doing another, like, little stream or video series for this channel. Um, I know. I, I think I brought it up a little while back, but I never... <gasps> Don't do it! Oh! 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 Jewels! Yes! Um, there's so many, like... Yeah, fuck you, bitch. Let's see the failed art of Jules. It just runs his shield into him. Okay. We're just going to go back to Harna. Wrong stance. The Neo stance. The Neo Ryu. There's so many, like, interesting games that I want to try out for, like, Game Pass and the PlayStation catalog that I have. So I'm probably thinking of maybe doing a thing where... I don't know what the, the whole thing will be called. That's what you'd even, like, plan around for a whole, like, channel, to be fair. But maybe I'm gonna like like look at some games that I have like um, I have interested in, and maybe maybe like Game Pass or maybe like color code it to where it's green for Game Pass and then like blue for PlayStation, uh, PlayStation um, catalog. Because I just feel like that'd be something really cool. Be able to try out new games maybe, and all that stuff. So maybe I'm, I might I might like make a wheel and see if I want to do something like that. Emboldened by their victory, the revolutionist army heads to Edo. Intent on delivering the final blow to its enemies. Sounds like a fun idea. Hey, you got here. Mark Harry, thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate it. I think some people also renewed their shit. I had OBS open during my uh I think I don't remember the reason behind it, but I had OBS open during WrestleMania Night Two with my with my friend and brother, and that's true. I yeah, I will I will play Final, Final Fantasy Seven Remake will be its own thing. I know one of my favorite streamers, Ray, ends up playing like do, he and just recently did like a row let's play, where like people gave him like recommendations on what to play. Kind of difficult for me because like I'm sure he's paying for a lot of the games, but at least for me I can kind of do something similar to that. 
at least with the PlayStation catalog, where I can just like put games that seem like they'll be interesting. I spin a wheel, and then we play that game. Um, sure, we'll we'll let this happen. I want to see what happens. Since we ended up doing the anti shogunate last time, actually, I might need I might have needed to do that because it said I actually there's a trophy that I'm missing on this game. I mean, there's a lot that I'm missing on this game, but one specifically that kind of caught me off guard. That was a long battle too. Jesus Christ. Um, there was one that caught me off guard where, um, let's go to, let's check out, yeah, let's see this really quick. So, yeah, there's something that I ended up noticing during it that I, uh, I, I'm missing a, a, a bond mission and I don't know where that is. Oh, we have something important to discuss. Me and Princess Atsuka. Okay. Oh, it's him. So, okay. So I ended up going back off camera and changing a mission uh, doing the mission where I spare the Shogunate, or not the Shogunate, uh, I, the red, the red demon, I think he was called, who was E, I forgot his, uh, his whole name, but I know it was, uh, E, the clan name, so doing that, it let him live, the blue demon, so now I can go there and actually go see him, so he's probably the last one I need, okay, that, that's great, perfect, okay, so he's over there, okay, let's go do that, that's probably the last one I need, or if not one of the last ones I need, he probably maybe has more than one, but I was noticing, I'm like, what mission am I missing? So I'm like, I'm trying to think, like, should I just go back and, like, redo everything that I did? Like, pick different paths for every single thing until I get something new? And it was the blue the blue demon guy. I forgot his, I don't know his actual name. I just keep calling him the blue demon. So now I know, now I know what it is. It's him. At first I thought it was, uh, the E guy. From the Shogunate. But I was like, uh, no. Because he, 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 if I don't kill him, he just, he just dies anyway to my, to my blade twin. I noticed, so I was like, okay. I thought he was actually going to live. I was like, oh, this might change everything, but it, he's a scripted death. So whether I kill him or my blade twin kills him. So it's like, ah, all right. So I ended up seeing, uh, I ended up changing changing light over to uh, Sha uh, Ming. So uh, she ended up killing uh, killing E, and uh, he's, he's scripted to die. Yeah, what's up, KT Chris? We got we got the story finished, and a new one is about to begin. I'm so excited to see what happens. I was also seeing a lot of, except for except for like one diehard fan. There was a lot of like diehard Roman fans who were even just like, you know what? It sucks that we that our that our man lost, but we're so happy for Cody and shit. Like respect to him and everything. I was like, damn, even the Roman fans are just being really cool because like they were trying to find every way possible to be like, all right, this is how Cody's gonna lose and shit. And then, um, and then at the end of the day, they're like, you know what? Nah, respect. Happy for him. Not all of them were like that, but a lot of them. And there was a lot who were just shitting on Cody, which I'm like, all right, let's, let's calm down. <laughs> I'm just really hoping, because I think this is like technically Triple H. Yeah, this, this is going to be Triple H's first time, like with like having a baby face hold the main like title. No offense to the World Heavyweight Championship, but let's be real. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. I'm starting to get worried about my own show. This will be Triple H's first time booking a uh, babyface WWE champion. Obviously, I know he had the World Heavyweight Champion. And I think he did great with Rollins. It felt a little weird that, um... Wait, what? Oh, this is reliving this mission. So, if the Blue Demon dies, he, uh... You just get to fight just some random bandits. But if he lives... This mission is about him. Interesting. Because oh, this was just a regular you side quest. Right be great. That's and interesting. The ruffians probably won't be here till night. That's really. I did not know that. That's really cool. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm ca I'm very very cautiously but very optimistic about uh, how Triple H is going to book Cody as the world champion. And then uh, I'm curious to see what, what he's going to do with Damien. So do I end up fighting the Blue Demon again for a boss fight? I feel like I'm going to be fighting him again. Also, this outfit's just too damn cute. I've yet to get rid of this outfit. I just made it in a, a thing where I can um. Where it's just like kind of like I guess in in a sense like it's the redesign thing. It, in a case like for Final Fantasy terms, it's glamoured. So it's just a glamoured outfit. 
where I can wear it where, no matter what I wear. But once that's over, we, maybe we'll try to actually be able to tackle something. But I wanted to make sure I got all this stuff done. Because I really wanted to do the... um, I really wanted to get that trophy for getting that stuff. But uh, All right, we'll do this one. I can't grapple hook him, so... But if I am going to attack somebody, it's probably going to be him. Yeah, let's just do it. The prize, bitch. Who brunk stance? Oh, Ronins are disrupting my peace? Oh, he's here! I didn't even notice. I wasn't paying attention if he did any dialogue. Interesting. All right, I'm very far away from you, dude. I wonder if I still fight him after this. I get the feeling I'm still going to fight him at some point. All right, they're dead. I always got to deal with Imada. Or Imuda. Or this guy, too. What's up, Yutenka? Welcome. Hope you're doing good. All right, Haru, you did not have to bring up, the, bring up the Taka thing. I'm still struggling with that. I'm still struggling to process that. The person I was gonna, uh, like, get in a relationship with, and they're like, nah, dead. I'm like, oh, okay. Even in video games, it's just not meant to be for me. <laughs> I can't even find happiness in video games. Nah, 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 nah. What's up, Sleepy Nomad? Welcome, hope you're doing good. Uh, I finished the game. I don't know if you were there for that part, if you were there for that. But I finished the game last stream. And uh, I'm going to be tackling some midnight stuff in a little bit. Probably at least for like 30 minutes or an hour. But I uh, wanted to at least do this. Lady confirmed for the for the Peter Parker of video games. Never allowed to be happy. <laughs> Honestly, kind of true. I mean, we did get our happy ending with this game at least. Where I, uh, where I got to spare my Blade Twin, which was super cool. I thought I was going to have to kill him, and I was going to be sad. But thankfully, we did at least get our happy ending there. Which, to be fair, Peter has gotten his happy endings, but it doesn't mean he's been a happy person. <laughs> so I guess, in a sense, you're still right. Uh, I'm surprised to find you here. I'm enjoying my retirement. Oh, good for you. And occasionally, I will slaughter some scum in my free time. You don't mind that, do you? No, oh, I don't mind it. Perhaps I'll tell you the whole story someday. All right. I mean, you can tell me now. Why do you hear? There's something I wanted to say to you. Yeah, the guy who it's ripped off the cut off the arm of my blade twin. Life. Technically, it's his fault Thank that this happened. That. After being thrust from public, you make Kasumi from DOA in this game and working on Ione. Ooh, very cool. Assassin. Still, can't wait to see how they turn out then. He remains strong till the end. Well, now that I've thanked you, tell me, what are you doing here in Edo? This is the final chapter, right? I'm trying to stop a war. I'm trying to stop my blade twin. Yeah. I see. So you want to be of use to the country, my lord, worked to protect. Yeah, sorry about that, oh, by the way. I lend you a hand. Oh. As much as it pains me. Fuck you. You cut off the arm of my blade twin, you dick. Yeah, I know how much your counterpart meant to you. Is that sarcasm? Uh, not, no. Uh, perhaps we are not so different after all. Wait, um. <laughs> I must look for was, it, was it meant to be? My bad. Come look for me if all right, so we got a, maybe like a mission or two to do with him before we do midnight. Okay. Most times if Peter gets his happy ending, the question is then, okay, how many issues before Marvel FUBAR is this again? <laughs> Welcome back, Tori. Lighty being happy, impossible. Damn, too real. Once he starts to be shafted by everything, then he really will be Peter Parker. I'd say it's about as uh, I'd say it's about accurate. You are amazing. Thanks, man. Clearly, your blade isn't just for show. Well, I, d I don't know why it would be. I, can continue my business I guess. Peace. Thank you. Dick. Great. Take care. You take care right, I don't need to look that shit. I already know that part. That's weird that it just makes you redo another story mission. Akikatsu Manabe. All right. Oh. Oh, that was the only Bond mission. Oh, was that it? 
But I said there was more to do. And we're only acquainted. Is there more? Oh, I guess that's it for now. All right. Is that the only mission? Huh. All right. I guess we're done. Never mind. We can just go straight ahead and do it. I expected the Chiba Dojo. Why? Hey, where's the Satsuma place? Because uh, the princess wanted to talk to me, I think. Is it this place? No, that's that's Katsu's estate. I'm stupid. I can't read. Actually, she... Yeah, this she actually might be there. Oh, I'm sorry you're not feeling too well, Tori. Hope you end up feeling better as the day goes on. Good sleep. And hopefully that goes away, too. Hi, princess. Over here. I'm here. What's up, girl? There's something I wish to tell you. Away from prying eyes. Oh, okay. Of course. My thanks. All right. now it's neither of the palace or politics that i wish to speak hear me oh i fall in love with you is is this allowed how you feel about me i mean I you're great but i'm married to a doctor i couldn't hide my feelings for you any longer uh i will ask you plainly Will you uh, life with me? I don't think I can even say yet. Oh, I can? Wait, what? I thought if you're already with somebody, you can't do. You can't be with somebody. Yeah, I went for the doctor. She was too cool. I thought I was, uh, I thought you could only be with one person. It's going to be the persona thing where, like, they find out that you, uh, you're with multiple people. And, um, they're like, you piece of shit. Yeah, they love gay marriage here. Yeah. You can be with anybody. I, they don't really, like, they, they don't really, like, mention your character's gender in this game at all. So you kind of technically are fine to marry whoever you want. Or marry, be in a relationship with, and all that stuff. It's one of the two. Yeah, you. I guess sort of. I guess technically marry in this game. Yeah. So I'm with the doctor already, and I don't know what happens when I do. This. I'm curious to see what happens, just for the sake of a response, to see if anything happens. Edo period Japan was actually pretty progressive. Source, I made it up. The source is that I made it the fuck up. Yeah, uh, I think I finished it. Yeah, because she we got the confession and everything. Or did I confess to her? I think she confessed to me. And then I accepted her feelings. I think. I think that's how that worked. I could be wrong, but I think that's how that worked. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do a poll. Out of out of just pure like wanting to know. Oh, maybe then maybe I propose. Maybe maybe I confess to her instead. And somehow, oh, it's true. I forgot about that. You actually get like you. They show a scene of her getting on top of you and everything. That was crazy. I think I saved it in case I ever wanted to show it on stream. But I was like, what the fuck? All right, I'll just let y'all do the poll. Because, again, at a blatant curiosity, I'm curious to see what happens if you're, like, in a relationship with two people. Or if they even allow it. Maybe you get, like, maybe you just say yes. She's like, oh, you're already with somebody, though. So I can't. Then again, this is, like, Japan. Late, early Japan. Very back-in-the-day Japan. So maybe this shit wasn't frowned upon. I'm not sure. But I'm not making the decision here. Y'all are making the decision. So I'm going to let y'all make that choice. Should I accept your proposal regardless of being with the doctor already or, or no? 
That way I can't get yelled at. It's your guys' fault if you, if you all just say yes. I get to blame the chat, not me. Oh, it's still a lot of concubines during the Edo period? Okay. Yeah, if you want to say yes out of pure curiosity, I'm go for it. I don't really give a crap either way. It's a video game. It's not the end of the world. It's not like you're, you should do this shit in real life. It's a video game. If people actually get uptight over something like that in a video game, you probably shouldn't be playing video games. Edo hey, no, Japan was lit. What's up, Devante? Hope you're doing good. Right, I'm going to give it a few more seconds. I'm going to do the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. All right, I'm ending the poll. There are extremists that would say uh, that would say so. You do this in real life. Yeah, that's such a stupid thing to say. Like, obviously, you wouldn't fucking do that in real life. That's so disgusting. It's a fucking video game. Maybe the doctor's into it. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's an open relationship, which is why I'm allowed to do this. If they even knew what that was back in the day. All right. It's pretty unanimous. We're saying yes. All right. For, any, for, for anyone who's watching this later, and for anyone who actually gets super upset or tight over this because I've already been in a relationship with a doctor. And before it just like rips my relationship with the doctor away, which will actually upset me. This is the chat's decision, not mine. To be fair, in Romance of Three Kingdoms 13, you have three wives. So there, so there are some characters that you probably have to like have to confess to, and then there's others who will just confess to you. By the way, Atsuko, I am I am already I'm already betrothed. I think to the doctor. So, I mean, if you're cool with it, I'm cool with it. Yeah, that's really cool. That like I I, I they, again, they don't really like mention your uh, your gender in this game at all. As far as I know, I don't think I ever hear them say, like, he, she for your character. Again, as far as I remember. Uh, if they do, still cool. If not, then it's a good way of them being, like, uh, of them still basically allowing you to be in a relationship with somebody. With anybody, because, again, they don't really mention your gender. Because at the end of the day, you can also change the gender of your character, too, mid-game. So, good on uh, Team Ninja for that. That was cool. Yeah, you're basically just kind of gender neutral at the end of the day. So I wonder if you can go on a date with her like you can with uh, Ine. Hoping you might come. Hell yeah, let's do it. Alright, after this we will 100% do some uh, midnight missions. See if we can do them online. I must say... I hope it lets you do multiple because I'm so hopelessly in love with Atsuko and Sana. Honestly, I, at first, I was really thinking that you can't do it with Sana at all because she's so into Ryoma, but I guess eventually she just gets over it. I like her accent. It's really good. The voice act is pretty good. They have had they've had some moments in this game where delivery can be a little off, but for the most part, it's been pretty enjoyable. I was still with the girl. I dearly miss the seas and mountains of Satsuma, and was the picture. By no means is it game changing, but it's it's acceptable. That's why I played with it for, for the whole time. My lord husband had simmered sweet potato made for me. Not to mention for the sake of um. So good it moved me to tears. For the sake of authenticity for, like, you know, the people who probably can't speak Japanese, like the French and Americans and British, I decided to just go ahead and just do this. I don't want to hear about your past lovers. Um. I'll be nice. Not only are you not jealous, we are 
Okay, she liked that. Uh, that's part of why I love you, I suppose. And just dropping the big L. The days I spent with my husband are my precious memories. But I've actually seen people get like very tight over that, like having fond memories of, you know, like a deceased husband or wife. And the significant other gets, like, so angry about it. I'm like, why? This is someone precious to them that they lost? Why are you getting pissed at them for it? The warmth of your hands gave me the strength to carry on. I want you beside me. Now and all the years to come. This time. This time. I want to be with the one that I love until I breathe my last. Hey, I mean, again, I'm kind of with Ine as well. So, in actuality, you get two people to hold hands with. You get two people to never let go to. And you got a doctor who's probably making sure she's she herself is in great health. And can keep us in great health because she's a doctor. It's the best case scenario. I'm not even talking about anything, you know, horny. I'm just talking about things in general that are just kind of wholesome. Why are we so close? I guess we're married, so I guess that makes sense. I'm assuming we're actually legit married now. All right, is there anything else I can do with you for now, or are we done? I've been waiting for you. Oh, that was a cute line. Oh, God, I'm not saying that. <laughs> Holy fuck, that almost hit that, too. <laughs> All right, let me go see Ine real quick and see what happens. Then we'll go for sure to a midnight mission. All right, I think she's, I think even during the late Edo stuff, she's still probably over, no, not the Ninja Villa. I actually didn't remember the Ninja Villa at all. Interesting. Um, fuck, where is it? Um, where's the, where's the garden? I think she's at the garden, right? No, it's like somewhere around, I'm forgetting where it is. I, that's the one place I keep losing. I'm not even joking. Is it this place? Is she at the Botanical Garden? I don't remember. I legit keep forgetting where this where this woman is. I don't think this is it. Oh yeah, this is the lady I got the outfit from. You're just becoming just a shopkeep now. And I was like, oh, all right. Oh, is that why Mr. Fortune's always by my house now? Did she kick her? Did she kick him out of the fucking house? It's a circle with four dots. Okay, yeah, it's definitely not this one then. It was a, an actual medical place. That's the pleasure district. Oh, here we go, medical school. I'm gonna wait for her to actually be like, you piece of shit. Sorry, I didn't know. Chad made me do it. It wasn't my choice. If Chad said no, I would have easily said no and stayed with you. Hey, there she is. There's the other princess. What's good, girl? We have something to dis We do? Uh-oh. That's not good. So someone's been having <laughs> So she knows. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I gotta say hello to Ine. I'm gonna I'm gonna end with the other woman. Fine. I'll wait. Just this once. <laughs> that's good. I, that's good. I like that. That's good. I was really thinking there was. I really was thinking that, like there's got to be repercussions to this. There's no shot. I'm really glad that there actually is. That's really funny. You <laughs> have a little too much fun. I have. I'm sorry. I feel bad for her now, though, because I'm now going to be leaving her just for that. Yeah, word travels fast. Can't blame us. <laughs> All right, princess. I'm sorry. It was nice for like a little bit. We got to end it. I'm not, dis I'm not disregarding my girl, Ine. You. Oh, you're so happy. Oh, this is going to be so sad. I've been waiting. I know. I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh God! I must say, you've <laughs> it drifted away after like three minutes. Damn! I'm so sorry, but I, I'm already with Ine. I see. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't even want to. I don't even want to go through all that. That's sad. You may go. Damn! You can even see how sad she was for that shit. Actually, what happens if I talk to her now? Come. Okay, she's just back to normal. If you have business. Okay, yeah, she's just back. She's just back to normal. Okay. That is all. You may go. Okay. Back to Ine. Let's just make sure we're good with her now. 
I hope Okubo and Saigo don't try to kill you for this. Oh, that'd be hilarious if they just started hunting me down for that. Just broke her heart like that. That'd be hilarious. If you break, if you end up cheating, one of the girls will send like one of the samurai after you or Rona. That'd be so fucking funny. Oh, I have something for you. Oh, she got over that quick. Um, do I? I'm assuming this is going to lead to me. I suspect very well. Oh, okay, we're good. Oh, is something? Yeah, no, I ain't. I ain't. I ain't gonna be disrespectful towards the goat. Do I have anything for you? I do. I have. Oh, I got some Frankenstein books here. Oh, this is really lovely. Also, I'm really glad they don't have to look for a fucking guide on that. I'm so glad that they just show you what they love the most. Thank God. Oh, all right. Goodbye. Did you give me a gypsum? I right, appreciate it, wifey. All right, see ya. Yeah, let me see if I, uh, hang on, let me, hang on, let me see, I don't, because I still forget how to fucking access this shit, um, it's pretty far back, I don't know if I have it right now, yeah, no, <laughs> bro just fucking died, <laughs> um, try to see where it is, oh yeah, that was me fighting on the Brooklyn fucking bridge, um, where is it? Is it way further down? Um, I'm trying to find the date with Ina. Oh, it might be this one. Yeah, it's, it's this one. Oh, sorry. Hang on. I don't know why it's so quiet, too. I'm going to bump it up. Don't worry. Can you get rid of that fucking thing? There we go. I'm going to bump this up so y'all can hear it, because for some reason it's very quiet. I don't know why. And then we'll actually do the fucking midnight mission. But I thought th I thought this would be appropriate to show since I never got the chance to show it on stream. You know, you've been getting into far too much. Again, I don't know why it's so quiet. You're more battered and bruised every time I see you. I wish you would be more careful. It's actually kind of a sad interaction till the end. But how can you say that? Even the greatest warrior eventually falls. Look, I'm not saying I don't want you to fight. It was your conviction and courage that made me fall for you in the first place. It's just... Do you know how it feels every time I watch you go? You're always heading for another fight. Always leaving me alone. Sure, that's what you say. But if anything happens, you'll be out of here in a flash. That's just the person you are. You'll stay here with me tonight. And just for tonight, I'm not letting you go anywhere. Don't ever let me go. So the morning comes, whether we like it or not. Life can be cruel that way. Have a good day, then. I'll be waiting for you. Just come back to me safe. There you go. Oh, I think that, yeah, that's the confession. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. In, uh, in hindsight, yeah, you get laid. <laughs> yeah, your character actually gets laid in the game, I guess. So that's pretty cool. Yo, what's up, Trixie? Welcome, we're doing good. All right, now we can actually do some midnight missions. Sorry, I wanted to make sure I got that, uh, the blue demon stuff done. That's so sad, I already forgot his name. Let's head back to the longhouse. Back to midnight difficulty. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll join some people's stuff too. Maybe we'll just do that. Ah, welcome back. Thanks. All right. Um. 
I don't actually know how far I am into uh, her relationship or anything like that. All right, so I still got to stay in Yokohama for now. Yokohama is still a very pretty place. I don't know which which is like my favorite area though in the game. I really do like Edo. Kyoto is pretty cool. I think Kyoto probably might be my least favorite. Yokohama is pretty nice though. They're all good at the end of the day, but I think Yokohama is really really nice. I think I don't know which. I think I spent the most time in Edo. I think more than Yokohama. Obviously, actually, yeah, no, obviously, no shade would be more at Edo because Edo was uh, also part of like the chapter three end, so that makes sense. Oh, wait, back to the longhouse, dummy. Oh, yeah, so are my dog and everything still here? I'm guessing I got the gear. I sent them out during the midnight stuff, but I'm guessing since I was in the dawn for so long, or, yeah, I think the dawn, I didn't really get fucking anything. It is what it is. You married the princess in this game? Hog! Welcome back. Also, the avatar with the blush, uh, the blush and blinking was just full blown gay panic meme. <laughs> um, okay, so my dog's still out. My dog. All right. Um, yes, yeah, so you can see here it does give that. You probably got to stay in this difficulty though, so that's probably the big reason why I haven't been getting this red gear. So I got to actually stay in this while they're doing that. That might just be a, a very easy way to farm that shit too. Oh, pulverized coal. Thanks. Oh yeah, the princess is very Princess Atsuko is very nice. She's a very nice lady. Forgot that was on. Uh let's see. Let's see if anyone's doing anything. Searching. Oh wow. A lot of people busy today. Um, let's try this one. Let's see if they'll let me join. Your internet's making you mad? Ah, I hear you. My internet was actually being a little weird uh, last night. And this morning, too. Oh, dude, look how dapper he is. Holy shit. All right, my preparations are done, too. <laughs> I just got here. Oh, are we going in? We're going in. All right, cool. They're letting me in. Oh, hell's above. Jesus. I didn't really... Okay, Ruthford Alcock. All right, we're back, Ruthford. Oh, my God. They are fucking up. They're fucking... Oh, my God. Damn, they killed him in, like, two seconds. Holy shit. What are they doing to this guy? Ugh. All right, now beat up the, beat up the Alcock. Wow. Holy fuck. You certainly don't hold back. What mission was that? Oh, there's more. All right. Oh, it's a boss rush. Oh shit. I'm coming to help. I'm going to help fight him fight Jules. Oh, okay, never mind. I'll fight him. Ugh. Take that, Shibasawa. All right, they're using a lot of like, um, like fire, lightning. I don't know what the lightning really does in this game. Oh, I gotta heal. What the fuck's this? Oh, it's Yasuke. Oh, he is. He is glitchy. What's going all over the place? Bring out the Odachi. Yo, this music though. I didn't realize I came into a fucking boss rush. Wow, they just obliterated them. Is there more? Matthew Perry? Oh, not Alexandria. I took her drip, now she's pissed. Alright, whoever is fighting Matthew Perry does Jeshua does Jeshua Chen does not need any help. Alright, well they're dead. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Alexandria is the one who gives me the problems. Alright, so Jeshua kinda just like letting us just kind of farm off of them right now. God damn. 
Holy fuck, Manabe. I can't see! Fuck him up! Ugh. Ugh. Oh, that was it. All right. Holy shit! What the fuck was that? I never even seen that mission before. What was that? That was crazy. Wowzers. I ain't gonna lie, Jeshua did all that shit by themselves. Are they just going back and forth with the preparation complete? Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. Guess I'll say I'm ready. If they want to do something. If not, it's not a big deal. Just realized my stream is like minutes behind, so I said Pog when uh, Light's wife uh, showed up and said, turn away, folks, when Lighty got gets late. <laughs> I gotta do the the key thing. Oh god, no! Joggly! I saw that coming, bitch! So these are just like chances to get it. So they're kind of farming off of somebody here. They're trying to farm off of a certain enemy, I think. God damn, Lightning must be getting rid of is the one that's getting rid of their key so quick. Oh, probably like Wolong did. I gotta equip that shit for uh for elemental stuff. The, the twin blade, the paired sword's probably also great to use for that as well. Oh, I'm good against any stance when it comes to jewels? Really? Maybe it's something that they did? I'm not sure. Oh, there goes jewels. Oh, damn! Oh, shit, I'm burning. Oh, Yasuke. That would actually have been pretty more cool if uh, Yasuke ended up popping up next to uh, the blue demon. To have two ninjas fighting each other. God damn, they are killing this guy. Oh yeah, the game's super fun. Depending on the difficulty, it can be very challenging as well. Uh, if you're also someone who's not looking for like a crazy amount of challenge, you can always just do like Dawn, which is like the easiest difficulty. So there's also it's like it's like a Neo game, but it's got like difficulty sliders to it as well, which is kind of rad. This is this is supposed to be the hardest difficulty, but this person's literally killing every single person in their fate in their tracks. Go oh, better stamina. Joggly, no! Oh, right. Left him with Alexandria. That's my mistake. Yeah, no, the game has some co has a lot of co-op missions that you can do. Uh, you can do it on any difficulty that you want as well. It's really good all around. Damn! Whoop! Let's try Blue Demon. Oh, that's him doing that. Okay, it's like a smoke bomb, I guess. <laughs> Holy shit. That person's just... Uh, just grinding off of this mission. That's crazy. Let's go ahead and leave the lobby, though. Okay, we still get what we get. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a red Uchi Katana. Do I get that? Oh, let's go! The Indigo Skabard Uchikatana. Interesting. <laughs> they jump in me! <laughs> wow, that strength is crazy. Holy shit. They will actually be able to do some good shit with that. That's wild. 
Let's see what other people, what are, what are the missions people have? Whee! Oh, there's the plot to assassinate Harris. Seen that one a thousand times. Um, guess we'll do this one if they want me to. If they want me in, you know, little old me. I just did a gesture to actually like make it believe that you guys could see that. Whoa, that hair! <laughs> Damn, that is a buff fucking woman. Golly! Oh, I should probably ready up. Oh, that looks laggy. We going in? Let's do this. Take this! Actually, I can use my uh my katana now a little bit. It's actually a slightly better one now. What are all the weapons you can have? Uh, there's the katanas, there is the paired swords, there's uh, the odachi, there's a spear, there's an oxtail blade, um, a great sword. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I might have gotten them all. Obviously you have firearms, uh, pistols, which you can also use. Oh, I guess we're just going in, all right. Oh, they shot the gunner. All right, that was smart. Hey, why am I left alone with this shit? <laughs> I'm the weaker person here. I'll, I'll fight this guy. Oh, that works. They still had all the key to go. That was weird. No problem, Tori. Thank you very much for popping in. Hope you have a great rest of your day. I'm hoping there's going to be like DLC where you can get like more weapons and stuff in the future. I'm not sure what they're doing with this game. Oh, fuck that. I'm going down there. I forgot that people sometimes just like start just pouring it. Ah, God! The fuck caught me on fire? I meant to actually change my shit before I did this so I can get some elemental like weapons out and everything. Yo, leather gators. Think. Oop. Where are they all? Are they upstairs? They're upstairs. The, all the... Oh, wait. Maybe it's just seeing them aggro. I got your back. Don't worry. I don't know if you actually want my back or not, but I'm here to give you my... Uh, I'm here to cover your back. Ooh, I wonder what the chests give. I'm curious. Anything interesting? Nah, just a regular rifle and a gold U.S. Navy uniform. Okay. Here, let me do this really quick. Um, Yeah, this shit. Uh, yeah, this stuff, where it gives you, like, elemental, like, damage. Okay. I'll leave the other one, because I think the other one's an all-purpose medicine, if I'm not mistaken. So we still have two formidable foes to fight, if we're going to do that, or are we just going in for the boss fight? It's their it's their game, so I'll, I'm just following along for the ride. All right, I guess we're doing the boss fight. I guess we're just doing it. Or not. All right. I know there's a formidable... Not through here. I know there's a formidable foe... Wait, was that red? Oh, hell yeah, it is. Oh, I got some red leather gators! I think there should be one over here. Oh, shit! Prepare yourself! Prepare yourself. Got to be mindful of my key stuff. I keep forgetting. Yeah, unfortunately, it's console exclusive. That's the biggest gripe I have with the game right now. It's that it's console exclusive PS5. Yeah! Which really sucked. Yeah, so not even PS4 people can get the game, which is really stupid. Oh, dummy, do that. I wonder what gear they have. Maybe it's not even just the gear. It's like leveling up your uh, your other stats from uh, that extra shit. I 
wonder what Tim's doing. Oh, they changed stance on me. No wonder I wasn't doing that much. Oh, actually, I'm wondering, since this is my first time joining someone's mission like this. Ow, that did a lot of damage. I didn't mean to do that. Shit. Oh, it looks like the, the thing actually stays for a hot minute. Oh, it changed weapons on me. Oh my god, that almost killed me. Oh, did he drop anything? Hang on, I want that. Mine? Mine? Whee! Oh, sorry. <laughs> my bad. Uh, Oya Bun, you good? Oya Bun. Oh, okay. Were they upset that I shot that? There we go. Oh, more leather gators. God damn. Are they just following me to, like, find the stuff for them, probably? Which is fine. I don't mind doing it. I don't think there's anything over here. Yeah. Oh, there's a chest. Oink! There's a chest there if you want it. Get that shit, Oyabun. Go through there. No, okay. Jump down. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Why do you sound like Trunks there for a second? Have you ever considered joining the U.S. Army? Curious to see what other people's like blade twins will be if we can get to that point. All right. If they are wanting me to go with, wanting me to take them where we need to go, then I'm gonna go as many places as I can. Oh, actually, we don't even go need to go through there. Through here. I'm dumb. Go through here. Yeah, it feels like they're just wanting to like have me take them to where like maybe the formidables are. Unless we beat the guys over here already, did we? Uh, they're. Oh, well, I need to get this though. All right, I guess that's everything. Oh, could you like swing around that? That's pretty cool. <gasps> Wait, there should be a chest somewhere. Actually, I just realized. Fuck, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. There should be a chest. There should be two chests in this side of the building. Um, there's one. Boink. I think there should be a big chest too, unless they. Okay, so it looks like uh, Tim like already went over here and took out everybody. That's pretty cool. Hi, Oya Bun. I can uh, oh, I can get that banner yet? Yeah, they didn't get it either. Okay, I guess when there was a big chest somewhere around here too, but I could be wrong. Oh, there's still a dude in here. Nah. Bro, what hit the panic button already? Fu Get out! <laughs> That's awesome. I could have sworn there was a chest nearby. Um. Oh, right here. Okay. I thought there was a big one. I don't know. I guess not. All right. I guess that's everything. I don't think there's anything else. Or is there one on the balcony too? I don't remember. Oh, hang on. I'll read that in just a second. My bad. Oops, wrong weapon. I meant to just change my stance. <laughs> Shut up his fucking hat. Ooh, too early. Oh, he's stunned. I didn't even notice. Uh, so is the Blade Twin boss the host Blade Twin, or do they look different for every player? Yeah, that's what I'm curious about, too. I'm kind of curious to see what happens when uh, we get to that point. Oh, there's a chest here. All right. There was how many chests there were. Nothing interesting in it, but a little chest nonetheless. All right, I'm um, pretty sure that's everything. Time to go. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see. Oh, it's still mine. 
I think. Oh my god! Pretty sure that's still mine. Oh wait, uh... Yeah, I'll put on fire. Yeah, this is still mine. Okay, so it still stays as yours. Oh shit, she broke my guard. Pearl's getting cooked. Damn. Poor Chao Ji. Or Ming. That's Chao Ji. Oh, Ming. God damn. She got annihilated. So, yeah. It still stays as uh, it still stays as your character. Okay. That makes sense. That would have been cool to be able to see the other people's display twins, though. See their creations. All right. Yeah, we can hop off here. Where have you been? Changing the country, what have you been doing? Why are you sitting at my house? Why are you in my house? Rude. All right. Uh, we could probably just finish up there for the day. I still got to get ready and everything for work. Uh, for tomorrow and all that stuff. Maybe prep up some video works and everything for the wrestling channel as well. I'm trying to get it all edited and done first. And then I'll probably start uploading stuff. So I at least have a backlog of things to be done with. But yeah, I think with today we'll, uh, we'll just finish up there for today. Really fun though. God knows, probably still, probably still won't be the last time I stream this game. Uh oh yeah. Also today, I don't know if I'll be, I don't know if I'll double down on term in terms of like doing a streaming, a streaming myself. But I will be taking part with a friend uh, for some Lethal Company, so I'll probably let people know about it in the community tab of the channel and also on my Discord as well, which you can find at the top of the description. The Wowie's Barracks. You can get uh there's stuff like my schedule and everything. You can go ahead and check it out there. And but yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll probably just uh, we'll probably just I'll probably just let people know that I'm playing with them later today. I completely forgot about it for a second there, but all in all, yeah, pretty fun day today. Really enjoyed it. Hope you all did as well. Probably not the end of Rise of Ronin. There's still so much I need to do with the midnight difficulty and everything too. So maybe we'll do some more missions, try to get some more levels and everything as well as time goes on. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. If you guys enjoyed enough, then maybe we will come back for for even more fun times with this game because I really do love this game. Uh, I'm still not really bored of the game despite finishing it. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I know there's still plenty of other games I like to do. Maybe for next week, when everything's a bit more settled for me in terms of my personal life, maybe we'll start maybe start up that uh, that whole thing with me doing uh, the PlayStation catalog and everything too. I think it'd be pretty fun like doing a Game Pass PlayStation catalog type thing where I like uh, make a wheel maybe to decide what game we play for it and all that stuff. We'll see what happens. I think it'd be a pretty fun idea to do. Maybe something for on a weekend, too, if I have nothing planned and all that stuff. So we'll see. Hey, everybody. Thank you again very much for tuning into today's stream. Whether you were chatting in the chat, lurking, smash the like button, all that stuff. Greatly, greatly appreciate you all very, very much. And if someone's watching it later and you enjoyed it and you want to see some more of Rise of the Ronin on the channel, then be sure to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, like to come to the see, be sure to hit that sub button. We are trying to 5K on the channel. We do also stream over on twitch.tv slash lightyvt in the description. You can go ahead and check it out there. We are trying to have 1K over there as well for followers. So if by any means you want to go ahead and support my boy over there too, would greatly appreciate it. But with that being said, chat, look at those of you who watch later. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day and or evening. I'll be seeing you all in the next one. Farewell.